after healing our land and thanking our frontline health workers. We have to do the latest news update. And in our first story, the Supreme Court Justice nominee, Henrita Mensabunsu, says it's not the duty of members of the defunct Ayawaso West Wogong Commission to push for implementation of its report. She says their recommendations constitute an advice and it's the job of parliamentarians and other institutions to push for the implementation. She was speaking at a vetting as she appeared before Parliament's appointment committee. You are guided by law. The rules say that when you hand in your report, you are found to official. So it's not your duty to go chasing people to implement. It becomes property that honorable members like you should follow up, not the, the, the commission. The commission doesn't exist anymore. It is functus official. And when, for example, judges take decisions in the courts, the judge may have really sweated over the decision. It goes on appeal and it is reversed. The judge doesn't hold a press conference to complain. That's the nature of it. Would you have wished personally for better? Well, when you give advice, you hope that it will be taken. But what I know of advice is that those who want it don't need it, and those who need it don't want it. It will be recalled, government rejected portions of the recommendations of the commission, claiming it did not stick to its mandate. Professor Henry Tamentabonsu says that it does not diminish the quality of work the members did. Um, it is customary when people draft appeals to say that the judgment is against the weight of the evidence. So I do not see it except in that light. And enough of the recommendations were accepted for that not to be wholly correct. So yes, the language may have been infelicitous, but the Constitution uses the lang that language. So anybody who wants to um, question something would be right to use that language. But I, I don't think it, it questions our um, competence in any way, no.